There was nothing Claudette Boucar could do to keep the floods from her home. Everything she owned was destroyed in France's worst natural disaster in a decade. We thought we'd seen it all, but a tidal wave in 30 years, I've never seen that. The storms took the lives of 53 people in France and prompted the government to declare a state emergency. This has helped to release recovery funds and drive clean-up operations. But locals here are asking whether the disaster could have been averted in the first place by keeping builders from putting homes where the waters could rise so high. Regional authorities raised the alarm in a report in 2008, but local officials deny that construction policies along France's coastline are to blame for the damage. We will have to analyse things and look at what happened. Only after that will we be able to conclude whether or not there has been too much urban development. But I would not say that development has been excessive. Legal permits were granted to build, therefore I don't see why anyone should be saying these things now. French President Nicolas Sarkozy has ordered an investigation into the flood damage, which is expected to cost insurers up to a billion euros. Following the flood, now there's another storm brewing over how and where coastal building permits will be allowed in the future.